Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shahan Laik and today in this video I will teach you about Dengue. Now, Dengue is very relevant nowadays because so many Dengue cases are uh, there in the hospital. Dengue is caused by Dengue virus that is D-E-N-V. This actually represents Dengue virus. Now, D-E-N-V, Dengue virus has many serotypes like DEN1, DEN2, DEN3, DEN4. So these are the four serotypes. Okay. Recently there is DEN5. Recently discovered is DEN5 from Bangkok. Okay. It is discovered in 2013. So, basically this Dengue virus, DNV, it is carried by a mosquito. I am drawing a mosquito. Yes. And this mosquito has a stripe, has stripe. So, this is actually the Aedes mosquito. Aedes aegypti. Aedes aegypti. This is the mosquito. This mosquito has stripes and that is why this mosquito is known as tiger mosquito. Tiger mosquito. Tiger mosquito. Okay. Because they have stripes on their body. Now this mosquito acts as a vector. What do you mean by vector? Vector means this mosquito carries this disease from a disease person this is a disease person and carry it to a normal person this is a normal person and this is a diseased person from diseased it suck the blood and in the blood there is dengue virus then it carries it and carry it to a normal person and the normal person gets dengue so in this way they acts as a Vector. Vector means carrying. So, you can see a insect is becoming vector for this virus. That is why this virus is known as arbovirus. This virus is known as arbovirus. What do you mean by ar arbovirus? Any idea? Arbo actually means arthropod born. Arbo means arthropod born. Arthropod born born virus so that means they these viruses are carried by arthropod that is why it is called arthropod born virus okay now basically dengue has incubation period what do you mean by incubation period incubation period any idea the virus has entered the body and the appearance of symptom between this is the incubation period this incubation period is 10 days 10 days okay some books write it as 8 to 10 days remember 8 to 10 days is the incubation period of this virus okay now let me teach you first 5 days first 5 days is very important okay first 5 days 0 to 5 days this is these days are known as febrile these days are known as febrile stage what do you mean by febrile stage in this stage you will get fever you will get fever so febrile stage 0 to 5 days after 5 days it becomes more severe in this 0 to 5 days, you will get the antigen. You will get the antigen. What is the name of the antigen? NS1 antigen. NS1 antigen. This is the antigen for the detection of dengue. So, if you want to find out this antigen, you have to find within the first week, 0 to 5 days or 7 days, you have to find within the febrile stage now the transmission the principal reservoir who are the 
principal reservoir of this virus the principal reservoir are man and mosquito man and mosquito and which mosquito it is aedes it is aegis so these are the principal reservoir now let us learn about the pathogenesis of this condition basically there is primary there is primary and dengue infection and after months after months to years of this dengue infection you get secondary secondary dengues secondary dengue are more severe and it occurs with the help of a mechanism known as antibody antibody dependent dependent enhancement enhancement what do you mean by this antibody dependent enhancement ade what do you mean by ade let me tell you the non neutralizing antibodies produced against produced against these antibodies are produced against the fast serotype this occurs first remember this occurs due to fast serotype primary occurs due to fast serotype secondary occurs due to second serotype second serotype now for the fast serotype for the fast serotype antibody develop in the primary primary dengue antibody develop now this antibody these antibodies among these the non neutralizing which are not neutralize neutralizing no neutralizing antibodies which are developed against the fast serotype they will do the three important things combine cover combine cover and protect combine cover and protect the second serotype can you understand the non neutralizing antibody which is developed against the fast serotype will combine cover and protect the second serotype from from the body's immune response from the body's immune response from the body's immune response so this the these non deduce uh, non neutralizing antibodies which are developed against the fast serotype they will protect against uh, they will protect the second serotype from the body's immune system so this is antibody dependent enhancement so this is secondary dengue and in case of secondary dengue i told you it is very severe so secondary dengue i am writing like this secondary dengue that has generally dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome these two occurs secondary dengue now in which age group let us discuss the age group dengue occurs dengue occurs basically in all age group all age group but child who is less than 12 years children they are more susceptible to have dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome now what is this dengue hemorrhagic fever dengue shock syndrome what i am talking i will tell in details so let's learn about the clinical feature clinical feature okay so 1997 who classification 1997 who classified dengue traditional who classification it's known as traditional uh who classification it has the classification of three one is dengue fever okay tf means dengue fever another is dhf dengue hemorrhagic fever dengue hemorrhagic 
fever another is dengue shock syndrome dss dengue shock syndrome so what is this dengue fever high fever dengue fever is high fever high fever and this fever is biphagic it has the characteristics biphagic fever break bone fever break bone fever why it is called break bone fever because there is a lot of pain saddle back fever saddle back fever saddle back fever remember and there are rashes known as maculo papular rash maculo papular rash very important maculo papular rash where this rash happen over the chest over the upper limb you can get dengue hemorrhagic fever this actually characterized by hemorrhage hemorrhagic fever so continuous high fever is there continuous high fever is there along with that you will get hepatomegaly hepatomegaly and you will get thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia what do you mean by thrombocytopenia decrease in platelet platelet will decrease in count less than 1 lakh per millimeter cube you can get next is dengue shock syndrome what is dengue shock syndrome all the feature of dengue hemorrhagic fever will be there like there will be continuous fever hepatomegaly thrombocytopenia all these will be there along with that there will be shock that is why it is known as dengue shock syndrome it is more severe okay 2009 who classified dengue into two parts one is dengue with or without warning sign and severe dengue these are the two classification dengue with or without warning sign and there is severe dengue now what is the laboratory test the laboratory test we have to do is three important test i am telling ns1 ig m and ig g ns1 generally first week 0 to 5 days 0 to 7 days you have to do 0 to 5 days first week you have to do generally but it remain positive till 18 days okay don't worry now ig m generally it is it to be done after 5 days so after 5 days igm will rise and this will be positive igg will be positive 14 to 21 days 14 to 21 days so all these are remember from 0 to 5 days the first week ns1 you have to do after 5 days you have to do igm after 5 days and igg from 2 weeks to 3 weeks so that is 14 to 21 days of illness you can do if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe don't go without subscribing